So we're back from the Flying Can Ranch at Cedar Creek, Lake Texas. So earlier this morning I did a tabletop review on an air javelin made by Umarex. And I've got my target box down there. Let's see if I can zoom this up some. And uh, I don't want to get too crazy so you can see what's going on. I might actually try to shoot those cans. I'm not quite sure yet. We're going to set this down here. And I'm going to be aiming for the upper left. You can see I've already kind of popped it a few times. And uh, we'll get some stuff out of my way. Put this down like so. We'll go down here. We'll get it loaded up. Let's rock and roll. Nice out here. Well, I think I did pretty good on the first shot. These other two travel, like I said, this thing's easy to jump on you. So let's get these at her. I actually shot at that can. We'll get all these back out. We're gonna load it up, try it some more. So I was doing a little better. But again, the trigger. So let's go back here and just crack at it.
Which one left that pin? That's crazy. Oh, I hit it. <laughs> Are we still up? Yeah. Okay, so let me let me just stop right here. We're going to pick this up. I don't want to make the neighbors call Popo on me hot. I'm out there kind of in the boonies. Look at that. So not bad, not a bad group right there. Four yards out. Check this out. I hit this can. Oh, it's lost in. Let me. I hit this can at 40 yards. Straight through. Clean through. Look at that. 40 yards. So this thing's really got some some ump power to it. And we're gonna see if we can get this off of here one-handed. Yeah, scoot it up, scoot it up. I wouldn't really advise abusing your arrows like that, but hold on a second. There we go. Wow, that's crazy. It really did just, you know, twice I've hit a can. First time much closer. Look at that. It just it just ripped it. That's crazy. <laughs> so I think we put a pretty good group right there. Uh, if you bear with me, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try one more run, and I'm going to go for the center. Let's see what we get. That was a tight one right there. I like that. Trigger control. Okay. I'm not going to shoot the can anymore. But let's go back one more time. so good and not so good at all uh, damn it's life flying around I'm working up on me let's rip it let's try that Ooh. one more time going for the center this is the last time promise
Now here's a good example of what will happen when the CO2 starts to die, because it was starting to die. So I was going for the center target, and you can tell by the sound of it, it's starting to deplete, and then it goes down low. So that's a good example of what happens. So um, uh, there you go. Let me pull these out real quick. I want to show you, well, it's kind of a bad thing to do right now. I was going to show you that even low, right where my thumb is, up to the arrowhead, is, is how far that went into the target. That's on a lower CO2, so yeah, it's starting to die off. I could tell by that last shot. We're pretty much done. Let's walk back over and just wrap this up. And I apologize. I probably should have started with a fresh one right from the jump. Ooh, a little muggy. I finally got my uh, my um, my Harley project so wiring thing up on. They got the ignition back going on that, and I got a rear light and stepping the foot pedal and the brake light comes on. When I press the lever, the brake light does not come on. The headlight still doesn't come on. We're gonna figure it out. So there you go. The, the the air javelin, um, again, I probably should have started with a fresh one, but you could tell, you know, I had quite a few shots out when I laid that one span out. They were landing in there pretty close, a couple of drifts, but uh, uh, it takes a little practice. Uh, again, I don't, I don't know how much I'll use this because it's, it's loud. It'll get. Now, I have seen also, by the way, I believe you can buy, what do they call those, an H, HPA? Uh, like you can fill up with a compressor type tank. It's got a little valve you can turn on and off And I might look into getting one of those. If I do get one, we'll do a review of that and see how it works, but um, It's fun And it hits. I mean that thing hit hard. You've seen it even a low CO2 just ate right through that metal can with no problem So again, I I digress. I, I probably wouldn't use it for hunting larger game, but uh yeah, rabbits, squirrels, things like that, coyotes, um, maybe a small hog, uh, but, uh, but there it is. That's how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch, and uh, we will catch you later.